Hey guys, I'm your host Albert Vartanian and this is Parlay Today. Premier League fans are in for a treat this weekend when Chelsea and Manchester City meet at Stamford Bridge. It's the first time these two are meeting since the Champions League final. Thomas Tuchel and the Blues took home the silverware that day. In fact, Tuchel hasn't lost to City during his Chelsea reign. He's 3-0 against Pep and the boys and there's a very good chance he can keep that record alive after this weekend. The Los Angeles Lakers had one of the most incredible off-seasons in NBA history. GM Rob Palenka and probably LeBron James decided to blow up their roster after getting bounced from the first round in the playoffs last season. Only four players remain from last year's team, but they've added some key players to help LeBron and the Lakers reach that championship level. But will it be enough to come out of the West? Here's Noor. Yesterday, we took a gander at the Eastern Conference standing, so today, let's look at the West. Unfortunately for Vernon Maxwell, Utah sat pretty at the top of the ladder last year. But even though Utah added Hassan Whiteside and Rudy Gay, LeBron was playing GM mode on 2K this past summer. GM LeBron James added Russell Westbrook to add to his big three in LA with Anthony Davis and himself. On top of adding the king of the triple-double, the Lakers also now have Wayne Ellington, Trevor Ariza, Malik Monk, Dwight Howard, and Kendrick Nunn. Like, I feel left out. The Lakers have been riddled with injuries and COVID the past year, and some can make the case had AD not gone down against the Suns, the championship parade might have been in Hollywood this past year. With star power like LeBron, AD, and Westbrook, and depth that never seems to end, if the Lakers stay healthy all year, who has an answer for them? We're only through week two in the NFL, but the Carolina Panthers are this season's surprise package so far. They're coming off an impressive 26-7 win over the Saints, and now head to Houston on Thursday to take on the Texans, who could be without their number one QB, Tyrod Taylor. Enter Davis Mills. He'll have his work cut out for him if he starts, but he could lean on a key wide receiver to help him out. Here's Ashley Docking. Oh yes, the summer flings right before cuffing season. Ooh, they're fun, they're unexpected, but pressure packed when it comes time to decide if this person is gonna be with you at Thanksgiving dinner to meet the family. This brings us to Thursday Night Football. Texans, Panthers. It's time to see if Davis Mills and Brandon Cooks are committed to making it work. The Terod Taylor injury thrust Mills into the spotlight in a loss to the Browns, but he did connect with Cooks on a two yard score. Perhaps more importantly than Cooks' score is the fact that no other wide receiver on the Texans had more than one completion in the loss. Cooks is clearly wide receiver one in Houston, so even against a stout Panthers passing defense, I'm going to go against the grain and take the over. Over five and a half receptions, over 69 receiving yards, even if it's in garbage time, I'm going to take it. And finally, our man Michael Singh has been on fire with his MLB picks, specifically when betting on the Blue Jays. So listen, if you like baseball and you like money, then look no further. Here's Mike's picks on the Jays against the Rays. Joe West couldn't stop the Toronto Blues. Sorry, I mean, I mean the Tampa Bay Rays couldn't stop the Toronto Blue Jays last night. Stolen tactics and all as the Jays will be looking for their eighth straight series win this afternoon at Tropicana Field. An afternoon game actually bodes well for the Jays. Maybe it's because it's past Vladdy's bedtime, maybe Bo's more of a morning person, but for whatever reason, the Jays are 39 and 17 when playing day games, as opposed to just 47 and 49 at night. Regardless, the Jays will be in tough today as they're electing to go with a bullpen day. And I think we all know how the bullpen has been this season. Tampa will counter by sending first year starter Luis Patino to the mound. He was actually the big piece that came over in the Blake Snell trade this past offseason. and he's been decent, but nothing spectacular. Here are my picks. Take both teams to score more than nine runs total today combined at minus 105 and take Luis Patino to record less than 15 outs at plus 120. And that's it for the parlay today. Don't forget to follow us at the parlay on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok and come see us at theparlay.com.